welcome to Art at Home with Miss Beth and Happy Summer Reading 2020. Imagine your story. What is your story? Well, if you joined me for reading on Life's Dream on Tuesday, we read some Little Red Riding Hood books. So we are going to make a basket, just like Little Red Riding Hood took to Granny's house. So. I've got some flowers on this. You don't have to do the flowers, but we are going to do some weaving. So if you let me know that you wanted to weave, I put some packets out front of the lobby and I'm going to, I'll have them marked, um, the date, um, of what we're doing. I'll have some directions. And today this one, I called it, um, little red riding hood basket. So you need 18 strips of paper. And these are 12 by like three fourths inches. And I had a variety of colors. I made sure there was always a red. So I'm not sure what you got to pick up, but we're going to use, I've got a maroon today and I have a red today. Um, we'll also need a glue stick. I figured you guys probably have these from school in your backpack or something that you got to take home. Um, it'd be great if you had a um, stapler. And if not stapler, maybe some tape, packing tape, any kind of tape that would hold things. The glue will, the glue will work for some, but not for all of it. So in order to get these little edges down, I had to use the stapler. So, okay, I'm going to put this aside because we're going to make our own wonderful little basket. So I'm going to start out slowly with some weaving. And we've done paper weaving before. I know I've done paper weaving with a lot of you. And... Weaving is not an easy thing to do. Once you get the hang of it though, it can go pretty fast. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna start out with four red strips, 12 by three fourths. I'm gonna lay the other ones, we're still gonna need them. We're gonna need one for a handle. There should be nine each of these. And I'm gonna lay four here. One, two, three, four, I believe. They're kind of sticking together on me. Okay, so. What a way that I found that's a little easier to weave. And typically when I've given you guys things to weave, they're not, the paper itself we're weaving with isn't loose. These are all loose. We're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it and throw them in. I'm gonna try to keep it as stationary as I can. So we're gonna take one. And with weaving, it's under, over, under, over. Ha ha. So we need a pattern, red, maroon red maroon or whatever color you have with red and then i'm going to pull it down so first one i went under so now i have to go over so we're going to go over the red so over under over oh wait do i have more oh okay, hang on i have more than i needed okay over under still holding them does that look right? Surely does. Okay, pulling it down again. I see my cat join me. Can you see her tail? What's out there, little cat? Okay, so this one, we we have red maroon. We want this to be red, so we're gonna go under, over, under, over. Perfect. Okay, what do we want this time? Yep, red maroon, red maroon. So under, over, under. There we go. Looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm leaving, I think maybe I want it a little bit bigger. Let me see. Um, that's one thing that I found when I was using the stapler, because we're going to staple the ends together. It's good to leave a good, this must be about three inches. Okay. So now I'm going to do another maroon and then we're going to flip it to do more red. I figured if we do less at a time. Um, it's a little easier. So now we're going to go under, over, under, over. Whoa, I got better stay right where he is. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I want to make sure I get eight of them in here. Okay. Red, maroon, red, maroon, red, maroon. So over, under, over, under. I'm 
trying to get them close together. You will see. Okay. So it's going to be kind of a strange summer. I'm just going to forewarn you guys with everything being um, online. Got a lot of fun things. Ready? Under. Over. A lot of fun things for you to do. And if you joined us on Monday, we had our um, science guy. And we got science on Tuesdays now, too. Tuesday afternoons, if you join us, you can watch more of the science videos. And they're absolutely super cool. My favorite one coming. I don't know when I have it scheduled, but it's going to be um, optical illusions. And they're, oh, they're just cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one of the maroons. Maybe I'll weave this tail in. What do you think of that? Okay. Red, we need it to be maroon, so it's going to go over under over yikes under did i do it ah certainly did okay and i'm trying really hard to keep to keep a good length going here i think i might move that down just a bit so it, it's kind of staying um firm well we're going to end up using the glue stick though to to make it a little bit tighter, okay? And a little bit more knowing that it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, I still have the reds to do, so I'm just gonna just flip it this way. And I'm looking at my distances here. Yeah, still looks good. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, maroon, red, maroon, red, maroon. Under, over. Now there's a lot more here since we're since we've added more. But you're just going over and under, over and under. To grandmother's house we go, right? With our little basket. So that the wolf can, no. There's just so many different fairy tale stories with Little Red Riding Hood and a lot of them like, and a lot have come from, a lot of our fairy tales that we're gonna be doing in the summer have, they're all different from different parts of the world. It's the same-ish story told in a different, little different manner. Um, oh, hey, I think my cat wants to join me. There we go, how's that? A little long hair. Okay, she's actually in my seat now. Great, what a hog. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more, guys. One and two. Okay, and the others. Okay, she's pushing me out of my seat. What are you doing there, cat? Do you guys have, mm -hmm. see? She's just trying to help. Okay, please move. Thank you. Okay, we need it to be maroon. She must have thought this, this was her placemat. This is not even going to be your basket, baby. So forget about it. Okay. There we go. Putting them, I'm pushing them down. I want them. I don't want gaps in it. You can see there's a little bit of some gaps there. It's pretty good though. Okay, we have one more. Maroon, red, maroon, red, maroon, red, maroon, red. So we're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay. And when I'm looking at this, this is a little bit longer. I'm going to try to get these to be as even as possible. So right now, I'm going to try to pull the red on this side over across so it's about it's a little much I think it's we're gonna um we're gonna put these all together right now it's very flat and boring so we're gonna change this two-dimensional flat oh but it's got a beautiful pattern look at that pattern beautiful um pattern into a three-dimensional form okay so this is just a shape and those are part of our um, 
elements of art. Okay, getting them tight. Now that, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna just glue the corners and the, and the sides and then I'll flip it to the back. Okay, glue stick. And I don't need a lot. Ah, beans, hang on. <laughs> I don't need that much. Okay, I get all my corners first. It'll be a little bit easier to get those edges. This corner. And you know guys, I would love to see your finished products. I, when I first started doing my um, at home art, I got a few people that would send me pictures, but I didn't get very many. Um, with summer reading happening now, we would love to make like a little gallery space either on Facebook and not, you don't need your face on it, but just your art and then your name if you want your name on it. Uh, we can have a little um, art gallery so that other people can see what you're making too. And then you can see what everybody else is doing. Okay, hang on, that was a little bit much there. And with your baskets, um, they might look similar. So I'm flipping it around, I'm gonna do it again to this side. And that's already, it's just the edges. That way it's it'll just stay together a little bit better. Maybe, <laughs> if I'm putting enough glue down. And you know another thing, guys? Send me some ideas. Maybe there's things that, that you would like to tape and send to me. Give me ideas of other projects that you would like to work on this summer. We've got um, eight weeks. This is just the first week of summer reading, and when you're when you're working with your summer reading, make sure you're reading too, and you are able to get books. So that way I know you just get online and reserve some books. Okay, now I'm gonna use my, my stapler. So remember this is flat, flat shape, gorgeous pattern. Now we're gonna take this edge first. I'm gonna overlap these just like so. And then I'm gonna go right and left and right and left. I'm trying to, they're overlapping and I'm trying to get a good spot so that I can get the stapler on there. And this is the part that you might need help with. So maybe if you've got an adult at home with you, they can help with the stapling part. Yes. Okay. See how that worked? Okay. We're going to do all of them. I'm going to do the, the reds first. So remember, we start in the middle. We overlap the first two. And then I go right and left. And right and left. Some of them, they're a little short. And that's why I tried to get them as even as possible. It's, it makes them a little harder to reach. I think that's pretty good though. The first time I did this with that other basket, I didn't do very well. It was kind of coming apart, so it's, oh, that's kind of nice. Look, it looks like a little boat. Okay, we've got two more sides. Now with our purples, we're gonna do the same thing. Overlap, and then we go right and left. Right and, whoa, left, oh, that's really reaching. Right, and it's really, you see how it's pulling it in? So that we get that round shape. Oh yeah. Okay, one more. And there's that. Middle two. Overlap. And then it's right and left again. Pulling those in. Okay. 
And if I get them in a good hunk, I can get a staple in there pretty well. If you don't have the stapler, I think the tape should work as well. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. What do you think? I like it better than my other one. So you should have two leftovers, right? I gave you nine. You needed eight strips to make this. Now we're going to attach. What do you guys think? See, this is where you can, you have a little bit of leeway. Do I want to keep the reds together? Because we're going to attach like this and this. Or do I want to change it up a little? I think I'm going to change it up a little because I like changing things up. And this could be tape. This could be stapler again. I'm just going to staple because it's a little faster. Oh my. What can we put in our lovely basket? And then this, it can go, the red could be on top or the red could be on the bottom. It makes no difference. So. And I'm, I'm covering it up a little bit. I wouldn't have to do that if I wanted it underneath that you it's your preference and I really don't want them all to look exactly the same because that's not the point of art you need to have your own individuality added to it holy stuff man that's super cool it's really firm here baby kitty kitty do you want in the basket just kidding okay in your bag you also would have a piece of this is crepe paper and it's about Mm, I didn't do that very well, and I don't think I have scissors on me. Um, this is about 15 inches long, so we're going to make, we can do some little flowers, and if you don't want to add flowers, you don't have to add flowers, but it would kind of be nice to have, you could do four, and they could be small. I think the ones I had were a little bigger, but with a crepe flower, it's, it's just a matter, you're going to pinch the bottom, and then just keep rotating. Or you look up something on YouTube again, if there's a different kind of flower that you want. I tried finding, I, there was one that was, oh, super, super cool, but I didn't have the right tools to do that. And that's the other thing too, you, you have to use what is available to you. So that's why I, I gave you the crepe paper just in case you wanted to make a flower. And I did have a variety of colors, so I'm not sure possibly what color you got. But do you see how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of pinching it in and going around. And then we'll just, I'm not going to staple this. I think I'm going to tape it. It just, it gets a little thick at the bottom. But you want to make it as tight as you can so your flower stays together. That's not bad. Okay, I'm going to grab my tape and I'm just going to turn it upside down and I'm going to very, and this might be something too if your little fingers can't do it and you need help at this point, grab an adult, grab a friend that's at home with you, sibling, and have them help. See, I didn't get it all the way so I'm going to do it again. And I'm just, I'm just taping it like so. And then you can kind of pull it down a little if you want. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, okay. Flower. And your flowers can go on here. And they can be taped. What I was thinking earlier, it'd be cool if I could have made a hole in there, but I'm not. That's where your creativity might happen. What if I even did that? I guess I could do that. I don't know. I wanted it to cover up my staple in reality. So I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna try to flatten it a little so that my tape can go here. Um, I should also tell you guys, I don't know if you, I guess if you picked up your um, kit, you've been to the library. If you were at the library and you saw the, the they're fairy wings, they're not, it looks kind of butterfly -y, but they're actually fairy wings that are on the side of the, the glass where I, with the paintings, the Rapunzel and Pinocchio paintings, you can hopefully stand there and get your picture taken and it looks like you're wearing them. Um, that, that's a hopeful thing. 
uh, it's maybe more of like an adult. So maybe someone has to lift you up a little. I, I tried. I made them as big as I could, too. But I'm going to do one more flower for you guys. So I... You know what else you could do? You could put real flowers on here, too. That could be a challenge for you. So this is just me twisting and pushing it up. So it looks like a petal. Yeah, I know there's a lot of flowers out there right now that are blooming. And they could either go in your basket or they could be used to decorate your basket. Okay, let me do that. And I did have Keaton bring me some flowers the other day. Those flowers she brought, I think there was some, was it not Lily the Valid? Is it those little tiny bells? They're just so beautiful. But she put them in my mailbox and it was super sweet. Thank you, Keaton. But this is something that you guys can do as well to brighten up your summer. So all summer it will be fairy tales. And while you're doing your reading and getting your minutes logged in through Read Squared, or if you're using the paper logs, which I did have paper logs as well, um, you can do that too. And we have weekly, I've got like trading cards. So I've got some trading cards that have different um, fairy tales on them. I also have um, buttons that Mackenzie made that you can wear that have cool pictures of different kind of fairy tales too. So uh, any suggestions you guys have, send me an email. Um, I would love, love, love to see your baskets when you're finished. Have somebody take a picture and send it to either my email or uh, the Vermilion website so that we can post it for you. And if it's okay to leave a name on there, let me know too if we can use your name. But this is our Little Red Riding Hood basket. Thank you so much for joining me today for Art at Home. And we have a really, really fun thing next week too. Next week, um, we're celebrating Shakespeare. So I've got a great, great um, project that we're gonna do and, and, and oh gosh, I can't wait. Uh, that I will start kits with as well. So next week we'll do a fun Shakespeare. So have a wonderful day and enjoy your reading. Goodbye, everybody.